philosophy of experience HMI gives you the opportunity to interactively test and validate your full cockpit design early on in the design process. Using VR experience, you can put the human in the loop and take into account human factors such as cognitive workload or accessibility. This video will guide you through the basic of interactive cockpit creation in VR experience. In this first example, we are going to see how we can easily connect a virtual cockpit actuator to an interactive display. Here we want to connect the R rotary knob with the central display to the control of the car media sound level. First, let's make sure that our button is an individual element of the 3D scene. Here, the button was extracted from its CAD model and imported inside the scene. In order to redefine the button's origin and access system, we create a parent node and correctly position it. We can turn the button geometry into a virtual actuator, a hard switch. Let's now assign a rotational behavior to the actuator and define the suitable rotation axis and other behavior parameters. You can now focus on the central display. In this case, a texture mapping has already been prepared with a display source applied on it in order to simulate the optical behavior of an actual display. Instead of a texture, select HTML and browse to our page in order to make the display content interactive. We can now adjust the properties of the displayed content, such as the resolution. Let's now focus on how to connect this interactive content to users' interactions with the virtual cockpit. We first need to connect our HTML page to the running OptusMom server through the provided JavaScript client. It is connecting to the MOM server and subscribing to the finger interaction topic. This topic allows you to get all events from interactive displays and buttons. When it receives a turn message from the rotate button, the media volume is increased or decreased according to the direction of rotation. Our virtual cockpit is now ready for VR experience. Launch the simulation using the play button and deploy with the MOM server running. You can now interact in real time with the virtual cockpit with finger tracking and natural interactions to assess display content readability, actuators, positioning, and so on and so forth. Using the timeline features, you will also be able to simulate the dynamic behavior of your product. In this second example, a timeline has been created to simulate a light dimming on the reading lamp. Now let's connect this timeline to another virtual actuator, this time a push button. To do so, we will create another script. Our script now listens to a push event from a hard switch called push button and then uses the timeline control bridge to trigger the reading log timeline. In the two examples, we are using the JavaScript client, but we also provide c -sharp and C++ clients for the Optus mom. For this example, instead of being called through the central display, the HTML is launched in an external web browser. In this case, the user can directly trigger a lighting scenario from natural interactions in the VR experience. To understand better the event's logic, here is how the messages are being transmitted through the Optus mom system. When interacting with a virtual actuator, the VR Experience Editor sends the interaction event to the MOM server in the predefined finger interaction topic, who sends it to the subscribe HTML page. This HTML page then reacts to this interaction by sending back the event to trigger the timeline, and this order is also transmitted through the MOM server back to VR Experience in a timeline control topic. We have seen how to create an interactive cockpit in the context of a scene. The cockpit can also be experienced in a scenario context, including lifelike driving conditions. Making your cockpit reactive to scenario conditions will allow you to test your HMI responses in a large variety of driving conditions and traffic scenarios, even hazardous ones, for a safer drive. 